two more result that you can say it is a little more helpful for application point of view like just suppose this uh, proportion is given or where so many ratios are given all are equal means we can say all are in proportion a by b equal to c by d equal to e by f equal to g by h keep on going all we can say it is all are equivalent ratio all are equivalent ratio then each and every ratio will be just equal to the sum of all numerator you just add and sum of all denominator a plus c plus e plus g it will keep on go maybe further it will be there h after h it is coming uh, i j means it will become i here j okay and divided by b plus d plus d means all ratio either you can write this ratio equal to a by b or this same ratio you can write equal to e by f all ratio will be equal to this ratio and this is going to help a lot to solve the question now just we'll think little bit more little bit more if just suppose if a by b is not equal to c by d like here it was equal then what will happen this ratio can be defined and this ratio will be equal to which ratio like a by b is not equal to c by d c by d is not equal to e by f and e by f is not equal to g by h or again you can take next equivalent ratio there is no issue i by j okay then a plus c plus e plus g plus i it will be defined there is no problem but this will not equal to any individual ratio it will lies between the smallest and largest fraction anywhere like maybe just suppose the smallest fraction is a by b and largest fraction 